Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about how to publish a U2 course. So once you're done authoring your course and you have it the way you like it, you can choose to publish it by clicking the distribute tab. So here I am in course one, I click the distribute tab and um, this is where I'm going to publish my course. So there's three different ways to publish a course. Um, I will start with the download option because it's included for all you do to users, including those with basic memberships. So the first thing is you start by clicking the big download button. So it's the first time you're publishing the course um, this way. So the download method, you'll have to click publish first. So I'm going to click publish. So now the course is publishing and basically this publishes the course so that you can download it. And then once it's published, you'll see that you published this course on August 27th, 2017. So that's the version that I just published. So I'm going to download it. And then you can save the course wherever you like and it will download to your computer. From there you can upload it to uh, any SCORM compliant LMS. Okay, so that is the first way. Um, just to show you something, I have another course open in another tab, it's course 2, and this is a course that I um, downloaded a while ago. So if I was to click download your course on this one, um, it will tell me you published this course on August 13th, 2017, which was 14 days ago. Now if I click download right away, what's going to happen is I'm going to download the version that I published on August 13th, 2017. If I want to download the newest version, I'm going to actually have to click republish first. And then the same thing will happen. Uh, the course is publishing, and then once the course is done publishing, uh, you'll be able to download, and it will update the date. So it's August 27, 2017, so this is the most recent version that I just published, and then I will click download. So yeah, each time you make changes to a course, make sure you republish the course before you download the course. Alright, uh, let's explore the other ways of downloading, a, or sorry, uh, publishing a course. So the next way I want to show you is the publish preview. Um, this is good for if you want to be able to send a preview to a client without having to upload the course to an LMS first. So it's the same thing. You just click publish. Now, if you are a basic or advanced member, the preview will have a watermark on it. Um, so here, when I click launch, because this membership that I'm using is um, an advanced membership, uh, it will have a watermark. You have to have a complete membership or be an LMS subscriber for this to not have a watermark. So I'm just gonna close this and go back to my course here. And so if I was to put, click publish preview again, again, it's similar to the uh, download publish method, it will tell you which date the course was published on right here. So you'll know if you need to republish the course or if you just need to launch it. Um, and then you can also copy the launch URL to the clipboard. So say if you want to email the course to a client or um, to someone you want to show the course off to or show maybe even just a sample of the course to, you can copy that launch URL to your clipboard and then paste it into um, an email. If you're using Safari or any iOS uh, browsers, you'll actually have to copy and paste this link down below. You won't be able to use this button. Okay, so that covers publish preview. Uh, there's one type of publishing that I haven't talked about yet, which is published to you due to LMS. Uh, this is only for complete members or users with a you due to LMS subscription. And you must have a U2 LMS to use this, obviously, because you're publishing directly to it. 
and you can see that if you do not have uh, a complete membership, it will tell you in order to publish directly to your D2LMS, you must have a complete membership. Okay. Okay. Um, I actually just paused the recording there for a second so that I could sign up for uh, the complete membership and I'll show you what that looks like. Once you've signed up and you click publish to you due to LMS, you will get a little dialog box here and now you can log in to your LMS. So the first thing you want to put in is your username and then your password for your LMS account and then the organization code and then click connect. Then if that works, you will be directed to this little window here that says you are connected to the name of your organization. And then you have the option to either publish or disconnect from this LMS, say if you want to connect to another LMS account that you may have. Um, but I'm gonna click publish. And once this is done publishing, I'll have the option to um, jump to my LMS. So go to my LMS and then I have to log in here. Oops. Oops. And go to the activity management tab. And I can't remember what I called that now. I think it was called course one. And then a copy of PPTs in here. Um, there it is, con course one. So then I'll be able to launch it, and of course this course is pretty much empty. I haven't actually done anything with it, but um, yeah, there it is. There's my empty course. And that's about it. I hope that helps. Have a good one.